All right, in the shop today, I have these three Elation Platinum Spot 5R Pros. These are like the more, you know, slightly more advanced uh, version of the 5R. It's got like color mixing and zoom. I think that's the only two things that make it different and uh, wireless DMX, of course. Uh, but long story short, these, uh, these three fixtures were part of an install in Portland that I did about a month ago. And um, over here, you will see one that is not quite as happy as the other ones. But this is actually going to be the donor unit to fix everything that is wrong with these. And besides that, we're obviously gonna do a little bit of cleaning here since it's necessary. So first things first, whenever I try to repair some gear, always start by verifying the problems. So uh, in this instance, I was the one who kind of diagnosed the problems, um, but it's always good. It has been a month since uh, I've seen these fixtures, so I wanna make sure that everything is still the same amount of broken. So I think this is the fixture that just had an issue with the lamp staying on, which could be as simple as replacing a fan. And what will happen on these fixtures is there will be uh, a set of fans for the head. One is like an intake and one's like an exhaust. And if one of them doesn't work, then the lamp will only strike for like 10 seconds and then it'll douse permanently until you restart the light. All right, so as you can see, the fan is just sitting there stuttering. It's not actually doing anything. This is what a fan is supposed to look like, right? Um, so in this case, it's staying on, but it won't always do that. Uh, if, if the fan or the fan controller detects a little bit of motion, it'll sometimes think that the fan is spinning, and then other times uh, it won't, and then it'll shut the lamp off, and it won't allow you to power it back on until you power cycle it. So that's probably for sure the issue on this light. So it's really just a matter of replacing that fan and then um, cleaning it out and we'll make sure everything tests good. All right, so I took the uh, little the uh, deflector off here and using my three millimeter Allen key, we'll just remove all four screws and then take this fan out and replace it with a fresh one. And thankfully, since I know this part goes bad a lot, I keep a small supply of fans on hand just for times like this. So I'll actually end up billing the, the customer uh, for a little bit more than the part of the, the uh, parts cost of the fan because they need this done like ASAP. So I'm going to throw this one in and then just order a new one to replace it and keep that in stock. All right, new fan is in place. Let's uh, power it up and see if that solves our little problem. All right, so the camera battery died, but I just finished going through all the tests and everything checks out. So we'll go ahead and clean this up and consider this one fixture totally fixed. And then uh, two more to go. All right, fixture number two. This one's gonna be a little more difficult to fix, I think. Um, as I recall, it had like an issue with the yellow side or the uh, the yellow color flag being stuck full, and I think it had some other issues as well. So I guess we'll see shortly here. All right, so actually, it's just saying yellow color. So uh, let's open it up and see if um, we can see what's going on. The CMY module is. It's actually kind of this whole assembly right here with these uh, these motors, this circuit board, all these wires, and these little um, yeah, these little you see the little wire rope in there. It's basically just like a uh, kind of acting like a chain, and it's just sliding these plates of glass in and out of the path of the light and that's what gives it the color. So I wanna see if you can spot what is wrong with this. So we checked over here, and now let's see, maybe, maybe this? Could this maybe be what our problem is? That maybe why it's not turning? That maybe why we got no yellow color? 
It's just stuck full yellow. I think this could be all our culprit, guys. So what I could do, uh, I could take our um, donor light over here and I could disassemble everything and, you know, stretch this spring out perfectly and, uh, you know, just put a new, uh, a new cable on it. Or I could just swap out the module. All right, so the wiring harness that goes into the head has uh, been removed. It's just all these uh, red terminated cables and then two screws on either side. And the great thing about this fixture is it's just so modular that you can just pull out the entire CMY module. And uh, it's got the shutter in there too, I guess. And like I said, I am going to uh, replace this rope eventually. I just don't have the time right now and the client wants these fixed by pretty much tomorrow. So um, we're just gonna swap out the module and then sometime next week, the actual part will come in for this and I'll repair this one and then throw it back in the parts unit. And then just make sure that the wiring harness goes back in the right order. They are labeled on the, uh, the plastic blocks. And again, this is just like adult Legos, you know? It's not really that complex. You just gotta follow the right order and um, in the end you'll be happy. And if there are no errors anymore, then it'll pretty much immediately pop up uh, ready to be controlled. And yep, we see no errors and it's ready for DMX control. And also a good thing, the fans are all coming on full speed, no hesitation, no weird noises. That's what some clean optics looks like. Before this, it was completely covered with all these dust bunnies and gross shit. Um, but now, it's probably going to look twice as bright as, uh, as they did before. And this, uh, I saved the best for last, certainly. Um, one of the most annoying things to go wrong is if there is a motor that snaps a belt. And this particular light is exhibiting all the symptoms of a broken pan belt. If you listen closely, I don't know if you can hear with our uh, Coke machine in the background, just listen, see if you can hear anything when I spin this. See how much uh, resistance there is, or the lack of resistance? It's just freely floating until it hits that stopper. And it just keeps on going and going and going until it hits the other stopper on the other end, which is right there. Contrast that with this one, the one we just fixed. You hear that, right? That whirring noise and that resistance, even though I'm like pushing the head, it actually stops pretty quickly. That's because it's connected to the motor that has a lot of tension on it. So this one has no tension on it and it just spins freely. So let's open it up and, well actually let's first power it on and see if uh, there's any other errors that show up because the tilt um, seems to be working just fine. But let's see if we have any other errors. All right, cool. So we're just getting a pan error and um, yeah. So sometimes you get totally screwed by these lights and they send you on uh, these ridiculous chases to figure out what exactly is wrong with them. And other times uh, it's as simple as a pan belt just coming off of the, uh, the spindle. So uh, this is a really, really kind of lucky break um, because, uh, and I'll show you why on the other light that I have here, the donor light, because I actually had to steal the pan belt out of that one to repair a different one. Um, the reason this is so lucky is the construction of these lights, the yoke, um, basically has a hole through the center of it and there's a static gear in the middle that uh, rotates around uh, due to this motor and the spindle. So in order to take the belt off of that center um, spindle there, 
come on focus so in order to take that uh, the belt off of that spindle you need to disconnect the entire wiring harness off of one side um, remove these center pins and then slide the belt off of it and it's really really annoying as you can see here um, it requires a whole you know extra hour an hour to take it apart and an hour to put it back together properly so the fact that it is just slipped off saves the client money saves me time makes them happy and um, I mean I'm still billing for the time that I'm taking to fix this but it's not as annoying <laughs> so this is definitely a win-win situation here so I'll put this back on and um, we'll fire it back up and make sure everything else works so here we can plainly see the problem we just need to get this uh, pan belt slipped over the uh, center spindle here and around the uh, the gear on the motor and there's also this little um, this this tensioner back here it's spring loaded and it it keeps the the belt taut um, and it keeps the prevents the teeth from slipping um, so you just need to make sure that it goes around that as well so I'm using the rotation of the head to slide the pan belt into its final position so you see as I finish rotating it it's now completely on back on the spindle back on the motor and uh, correctly wrapped around the tensioner. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh, look at that. It pans. Now let's see if it homes correctly. Because sometimes the thing that will cause them to slip off of the spindle is if the magnet sensor is missing and it'll just kind of against the, the stopper and it'll uh, damage either the motor or cause the uh, belt to hop off but it looks like both uh, there's nothing wrong with it and there, there were no error codes and it appears to be ready for DMX all right so there we have it uh, it looks like we managed to fix all three of these guys um, with just swapping out some parts from our uh, handy little parts unit over there and then we'll just reorder those parts to replenish them uh, charge the customer for it and then uh, they'll be happy too because this is a really quick turnaround usually um, I don't have every single part in stock but uh, this time I did so we got three fully working lights with you know about um, you know three hours total maybe uh, with uh, everything involved with picking them up cleaning them diagnosing it uh, maybe closer to four and a half four and a half hours for all this work and um, yeah everyone's happy so I'm happy and um, I hope you learned something from this video maybe you can uh, fix some of your lights that um, aren't working properly and maybe save a whole lot of money instead of sending them to somebody else so once again I mean it's it's all just basic troubleshooting stuff once you kind of understand how these lights work um, it's just a matter of swapping out the part that you think is bad with a known good part and just you know trial and error and reducing it down to the signal path and figuring out why a certain signal isn't getting somewhere whether it's a bad sensor a bad motor a bad wire you know you'll get the hang of it eventually so I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you found it useful make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this and I will be putting out more content so thanks again for watching and have a nice